Hey, what's up gamers and Force 5150 here and we're gonna play uh, some portal with RTX uh, We're just mostly gonna take a look at everything here because you know, it's a, a New ordeal we are running on the RTX 4080 and I am running an i9 10900k and yes I know I am definitely you know uh, bottlenecked by my CPU now and that part is good but as far as getting the 4080, we'll get into that in a completely different video. Um, looking at the options, we don't really need to look too much at, at these options, uh, more or less the other ones, because these are just uh, some default options for uh, DirectX 9. But the ones that we want to look at is by doing Alt-X. Alt-X will bring up the actual ray tracing and DLSS things. We're running at Ultra right now and it definitely looks really great uh our graphics preset here for our image quality this is why i said the other part doesn't really matter too much um we want to use this menu instead of the other one uh right now i have a lot of free memory this is 16 gigabytes on this video card well let's go ahead and save settings we're gonna go through some of these don't worry don't worry we will go through some of those so you can actually see how much of a difference there is we're just gonna start a new game i haven't played this game in ages the only thing i've done so far is actually load up the game this beginning part because i was trying to make sure i wasn't losing fps um so we are going through the through the ebga um capture card right now just so we can you know get an exact you know representation of what the actual uh performance is going to be so i'm losing no frames per second from recording uh such as like uh say shadow play you lose like five to seven frames per second um even though we're in the hundreds not that big of a deal <laughs> but uh for this video we're gonna put there anyway uh as you can see we are running really freaking good and it looks really good like this stuff here was definitely was not there uh we'll look we'll take a look a little bit at the uh original just so we can uh get an idea as well but yeah, i love this game I really love this game all right i just want to show you a few things here on how much dlss3 really takes a toll on us we're going to put this in frame here because we want to make sure we're getting that so right now we're getting well let's go right here so we can see it we got 192 uh frames per second now what we're going to do we're not going to do that we're going to do the alt x and we're going to turn off dlss and now this may surprise you a little bit but look at that wow 28 frames per second without dlss that is how much this game is pulling up now before i give you a headache we're going to go ahead and change that now we're just going to go ahead and turn back on dlss but we're going to put it at custom and what we're going to do here see right now we have dlss we can use uh some of the other uh super resolutions but we're obviously looking at dlss and how, how much it can do all right we're just going to go on regular quality dlss and we're going to turn off frame generation if you don't know what frame generation is it basically creates an extra frame so that you know it it just kind of uses the ai to make a frame instantly so you get extra frames if you really look at each frame, is there's a little bit of degradation, but there's nothing that you're gonna know notice at like five, you know, 200, 300 frames per second. So like here we're at full quality, we're getting 55 frames per second. You know, obviously playable, especially for something like Portal, but we obviously want more than that. So we're gonna go back and look. At, I keep on pressing Escape instead. <laughs> um, now we don't have the frame generation on. Okay, that was quality. We're gonna go all the way up to Ultra just to get a good look at that real quick. All right, this is the Ultra preset. Now remember, we had 27 frames per second. We gain over 100 frames per second by turning on DLSS and preface. Obviously, the, the image is a little, little softer, but not much, especially in this game. Like, it is not gonna make that much of a difference in this game. But if we were at 1440p, 4K definitely would look a lot better. Uh, I'm 14. I don't have a 4K monitor. I could play it on my uh, 4K TV, but I don't really want to do that right now because I definitely wouldn't be able to get. 
I'd only get 120 frames instead of uh, 240 for this uh, 1440p monitor. But yeah, we get more than 100 frames per second. We're going to go ahead and look at what we get when we put on the frame generation like we were just doing a minute ago. Save those settings. And bam. Yeah, we get <laughs> an extra, what, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Like there's, we're getting almost 150 frames per second extra from DLSS uh, 3.0 alone. So that is really nice. And we'll, we'll see how this uh, stabilizes through. We'll actually play the game a little bit because why not? You know, <laughs> I just want I I want to show you some of the other things here, like this. Yeah, that looks way wicked cool. The room, you know, obviously there is some kind of actual shadow maps and everything. Like we actually have shadows, but those those itself. Or whatever the, the block where you put the block on is the best. I just wanted to also note that you notice. Look at the the ray tracing on the object itself. That, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, I, I've been I've been liking ray tracing since it came out, obviously, but the cost for it right now is just a huge, huge, uh, you know, impact on your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, with the RTX 2080 Ti, you know, I actually do want to try this, but you don't, you can't get uh, our, uh, DLSS 3.0, so that part kind of sucks. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to go in here. But like, the glass itself, it looks amazing. Oh, nope, we don't want to go in there, we want this one. Go ahead, grab a box. I might do a, a short series here. And we'll go back in there, drop it in there. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of very nice. This is like this is something I've been I've been waiting for them to up, update this. I really want them to come up with a portal three like everybody else, you know. But oh wait, actually I need to go out, and I think I have to wait for it to go to the next one. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, that looks really freaking good. Um, I think what we'll do is go look at Portal 1 without the ray tracing and, you know, kind of get an idea of what we're actually seeing here. All right, we're loaded up. Uh, I'm just going to go and look in here real quick. Yeah, that, those, sh those shadows, the lighting is just amazing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, flip over to the original portal and take a look at what we're uh, we're gaining here all right so here we are in the original portal <laughs> you can barely can see everything over on the side here um as far as options we are going to make sure that these this is all completely all the way up yeah we have everything all the way up i do not have motion blur because i do not like motion blur uh, wait for VSync is disabled. Our multi-core uh, rendering is enabled. We're running at DirectX 9. Yeah. Uh, you cannot go any higher than that. It's, it's all, all we have with this. But we are maxed out on everything else, which this card obviously should be able to do without any problems. And let's see, anti-aliasing mode. Oh, we want that to 8x. All right. Let's go ahead and apply that. All right, there we go. So we are at our 1440p. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And now we can kind of see what we're we're getting. The, right now I'm at 288. Before I was at 188. And, you know, we obviously get a lot. But look at how different that is. Like, you don't really have a real glass surface here. Uh, <laughs> there's no shadow like real shadows. These are all obviously just kind of like painted on type shadows. Again, to the oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna like this go through and we're gonna go through the next spot. But as you can see, like we are getting way, way more uh, frames per second, but we're also losing a lot of the details that we get from the RTX version. All right, so we have the portal open. Obviously the portal looks a little bit different. It's not as glowy as, as before. We are still maintaining 288 frames per second, which I think is the max for uh, DirectX 9 to be able to even handle. So, like, most of this, we're not going to be able to even get over that 288 
if you wanted to. Obviously, it's coming down. Oh, well, we got 289. Okay, that's pretty cool. But yeah, look at the difference between the button. Uh, when we were looking at the other one before, you know, you can see through it. It was very clear and just looked more futuristic. The lighting, obviously, the shadow maps here are, you know, painted or not painted, but, you know, rasterized to make it look like it's coming from that room. And we'll go ahead. We have no type of like real lighting on here. It's uh, rasterizing the light on there. Like there's light there, but it's just, you know, a way how they, you know, tricked, okay, tricked so the lighting earlier. This room looks a lot darker. The game looks a lot darker. And I do like the original, uh, don't get me wrong. Well, we're going at 290. So maybe the 288, 290 is kind of the max that my my system can really do, and it's just trying to push out as much as it can. But you can see it's it's barely working. Like CPU is at 19%, GPU is at 53% or 19%. So yeah, there's not a lot. Uh, my overclock has not even kicked in for the card. It's at 2505 megahertz, which is the default for this card. For the 4090 uh, or 4080, the uh, gigabyte. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't even mention which one it was. The gigabyte uh, eagle. But yeah, this is like a. It almost feels like a, a completely different game, but obviously it's not because you can tell that it's just all kind of the same things that you're doing. I like it. I don't know. I very much like this. It looks great in the new one. So. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably do a playthrough of it in my next uh, video here or two. It just looks it just looks nice, <laughs> and I really like the game. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it, so I probably I forgot most of the things that you know I'll be able to encounter, and it'll be uh, a fresh start for me. But yeah, um, looking here, uh, the last spot we looked, we, before we seen some light that was coming up here, and we definitely don't see that now. You know, it's it's all rasterized now, like old school rasterization. Anyway, yeah, man, that is all I'm going to do for this video. Uh, like I said, I might do a little bit of a playthrough uh, through some of these levels. I don't know how much, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun because, like I said, I haven't played this in ages, and it'll be fun to actually uh get some of this gameplay in anyway i want to thank everybody for watching this video today make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel i just want to say for the first time this year happy new year and i hope you all have a good one